Welcome back everyone to Pontus Fathom Hobbies. This is Season 4 of Battlestar Galactica, the board game. And we are playing the Daybreak expansion. So we're just going to uh, set up the main board game, set up all the original Battlestar Galactica board game uh, components, and then also uh, unbox and set up the uh, Battlestar Galactica Daybreak, Daybreak components. We'll fast forward to these and then we'll walk through the new features and new components. Uh, and, and walk you through the setup. So thanks for watching. Grab a snack and uh, let's go. Okay, so let's uh, finish up the setup for uh, Season 4 Battlestar Galactic Daybreak. So um, we've got the players lined up. We've got a number of new cards out here. So let's kind of go through the... Uh, so we're going to play with Leah Dama. Romo Lampkin, Gaius Baltar, Felix Gaeta, Carl Agathon, and uh, uh, Sharon Athena. And we will use a couple of new mechanics that come with uh, uh, the, the new game. So first off, you've got two new overlays. Uh, one is the Cylon Locations overlay. We can put that over the Cylon board. And the other one is the Colonial One overlay, which actually has the destruction of Col Colonial One. And uh, and you're also not seeing things. Uh, this is also in Spanish, so we're playing the Spanish edition um, of, of the board game, but no worries. Uh, there's actually a spreadsheet out there. If you ever buy, uh, if you ever wonder about buying a foreign language version of it, they've actually got a spreadsheet that has all the cards, all the board locations. So you can actually get some of these still in print in other language. The English ones are harder to get. Okay, so the other one that the other new component that we have here is the uh, uh, well, we have, we've always got, oh, got piloting tokens. So we've got Leah Dom as a pilot, so he gets a pilot token. Uh, Hilo gets a pilot token, and I believe Sharon should get one too, but. Uh, Maybe we can use the old pilot token we already have. So let me go grab Sharon's pilot token. Here's a Sharon pilot token. And uh, next up, first, obviously, the Battlestar turn marker. We've got some new components called the Miracle Tokens. We'll talk about those a little later, but everyone gets a Miracle Token. Guys, Baltar can have up to three Miracle Tokens. Uh, and this is Gaius Baltar in his... Uh, daybreak version where he's kind of like the cult leader and he's working you know he's doing those radio broadcasts so it's kind of a different version of Gaius Baltar we've got our CAG card so we'll give Carl Agathon CAG uh, we've got our Admiral uh, card we'll give that to Felix Gaeta and he gets the two nukes and we also have our president and that's going to be President Lee Adama and like I mentioned, we've got Romo, Lampkin, Baltar, Gaeta, Agathon, and Athena. We've got all of our um, our deck here, but we need to create our uh, destiny deck. So we'll just take two cards from each of the types. We've already kind of shuffled these up and uh, prepped for uh, prepped the board setup. So we're just going to make the deck of destiny. We'll give these a quick shovel. Uh, next up, we'll, we will... So the rules ha have us take these new uh, raptors that we have. These are the raptors, uh, kind of like Demetrius' uh, ship. Uh, there's our special, special raptors. We get one of these added into the reserve and the other three place them to the side of the board not sure why yet I haven't played it yet so we'll put them there we've got our tokens for our characters uh, we'll put Hilo in the hangar Gaius Baltar in communications uh, Admiral Felix Gaeta in the in the CIC uh, President Leah Dahman in the presidential dispatch Romo Lampkin in the quorum and we'll have um, uh, maybe we'll have Sharon be on the Cylon ship and start this out with uh, friendlies. Uh, we'll also give Sharon, she's sort of human friendly now, so she's like an infiltrator of the humans for now, but she's actually a Cylon, but her loyalties will come and go. And we even get to get these new cards, which are the mission cards, 
shuffle these up. We'll give two to Karen. Uh, sorry, to Sharon. Uh, these are the Sh Cylon mission cards. We also have our leadership deck already created. We'll go through and give each of our characters um, two leadership cards. And can put the rest of these to the side in case we need them later. We do have to check for um, the Mutineer card. So the Mutineer card Felix Gaeta is the Mutineer. So right off <laughs> so right off the bat he's stripped of his stripped of his rank of admiral. So let's I'll go look up in the in the in the rules here to see what where he should who should be the next so the CAG Leodama, Carathrace, Cat, Carl Agathon. Carl Agathon is the CAG. Let's just see if we go to the Admiral. It should be Felix Gaeta. Oh, then Tom. We don't have Tom Zarek here. Okay, not Tom Zarek. The Adama original vision version, Carl Agathon, Hilo version, Carathrace, Sharon Valeri, Boomer, Samuel T. Anders, Hot Dog, Lee Adama, Tom Zarek, guys, Baltar. Oh, God, are you kidding me? Guys, Baltar is the Admiral. <laughs> are you kidding me? That's crazy. So yeah, Carl Agathon Hilo, Felix Gaeta is out. It's all the way down to, it, it's almost down to Roma Lampkin. Uh, Sharon Valeri Boomer, but not Sharon Agathon. She's not in the running here because she's like the Cylon leader here. So it's, a, it's Gaius Baltar, the Admiral. Carl Agathon is a CAG. Leodama is the, we could make Leodama. Uh, Leodama, the president version. Oh no, Leodama can be the admiral, and we'll make Romo Lampkin the president. So Leodama will be the admiral. Romo Lampkin is now the president of the colonies. So, yeah. So let's leave it at that. And Felix Gaeta is the trade is the mutineer. So when he's going to for sure go on that Demetrius. We've also got the Demetrius sound sideboard. And we've got the uh, ba Rebel Base Star. So I think we're, we're ready to start here. So th guys, thanks for watching. Um, we'll check you out in turn one. Uh, links up ahead. And see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.